We're at 5735 Nessie Street. Got a very large tree here. Probably definitely needs to be trimmed if not removed. Because these roots are growing up through the ground. Right near your water meter. During one of the hurricanes, we did have a tree blow over here. You can kind of see the stump, but it's grown back as a bush. The house has a lot of repaired shingles, but it does not leak. Vinyl fence. door. Laminate floor in the foyer. Master bedroom as soon as you come in. Cathedral ceilings. No power so it's a little dark. One closet. Two closets. Vanity, tub shower combination, real tile floors, turn on the light, that will help a little bit, laundry room, stairs up to the bonus room, Two-car garage, water heater, Got a little setback under the stairs, you can put more storage or workbench there. A little bit of patching, the house has been a rental for several years. Air handler, a little bit of storage space, small storage here, bonus room with very tall side walls, reach in closet, so it's actually a fourth bedroom. living room, defaulted ceiling, marble surround on the gas log fireplace, open kitchen with vinyl, stainless steel appliances, area here where it's been wet. A little fraying at the carpet seam. Right over here. Two bedrooms through here with a split floor plan. Ceiling fans in all the rooms. bathroom it's a small very small hole in the tub I actually sealed it with silicone a couple of years ago but that can actually get a professional patch job a corrosion on there that could get 
placed bedroom number three. So there's some holes and stuff in the wall. This has been a wrinkle house. We've had several people in here. But overall, the paint's in pretty good shape. TV's mounted over the fireplace. Storm door in the back. Got a big backyard. It's kind of triangle shaped. Excellent house and a very good bargain. <laughs> 